Alright everybody, we're back with patch notes and I'm sorry this video is late. I I was I was busy this morning. I really really was. I slept in. Alright, so 3.18 is still at wave one. And look, judging by the uh, judging by the inside star citizen, I would say it's probably going to be there for the next at least the next week. So maybe early next week, end of next week. I don't think it's going to be this weekend because the way the Jared was speaking about it is like they're really hammering out some of the bugs. So good on them. And I'm not, to be honest, guys, I don't really, it doesn't really bother me if it's in PTU or if it's in PU. The only difference is, is that basically stops us from progress. So beta test it, find all the bugs, get it down to down perfect. And then obviously we'll have a really good 318 patch. Or 319 when it finally goes live. So let's jump into 318. It is still wave one. It is US and EU at the moment. Us Aussies are still having to play on the US servers. Database reset. Yes, long term persistence enabled. Pledge copied enabled. Starting money is 1 million UEC. Testing focus. Salvage. Hull scraping. Platform assault on Orison. Security post Croya. Reactivation. Courier delivery missions. Sandbox prison activities, Drake Vulture, Sand Caves, Daymar Crash Sites, Stan Racetracks, Grey Cat PTVs, New Rivers, Additional Derelict Outposts, Restricted Areas Version 3, and Arena Commander Quality of Life Updates. I really should do patch notes when I'm more awake every day. Uh, known issues. Drake Corsair has lower than intended AUEC price. RSI Constellation, Multivariant, Stanton, Vehicle, Ship, Docking, Snub Fighter still lacks the interaction allowing you to un uh, undock and redock. Hull Scraping, Weapons, Inventory, Game Code, any full salvage RMC canister attached will not attach to a multi tool in salvage mode. Inventory, Equipment, Gear can be lost when player dies in Amos's zone. Scanning, advanced stats not showing. Transit, elevators, trams are jittery. Salvage, hull scraping, nomads. Some sections of the hull show as valid but do not allow salvage. Hull scraping, crusader. Some sections of the hull exceeding difficult and possible to salvage. And with the uh, carrick, some sections of the hull are valid, do not allow salvage. And some also. Uh, well, the sections are hollow, exceedingly difficult to salvage. So it's got both. Aren't you Carrick owners lucky? you got both those bugs. Well done. Um, obviously, uh, derelict missions AI. Once a mission has been completed, the, the segment of uh, the AI will not respawn for the next mission, resulting in it completing upon reaching the location. So that bug's back. Uh, derelict missions reinforcements do not leave the ship and will be counted towards the hostiles remaining total even once the ship has left resulting in the mission being incomplete or incompletable Valkyrie bottom turret locks and makes player invisible cool uh, salvage some ship wrecks and enormously give no material text and do not let you salvage ship quantum entanglement uh, hostile indicator uh, QED does not mark ships as hostile. Uh, multi vehicle EU stand vehicle destroyed ship thrusters will still not function after being repaired. Cargo performance fully loaded CTU at area 18 results in slow frame rate or a crash. Interesting. Uh, Stanton Law System uses spawn in prison with weapons and armor after dying and also trading a cargo invisible in multiple ships. Now that's the bad news. So the good news is is that there is a whole bunch of bug fixes. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 or so. So mining vehicle Grey Cat Rock DS Mining UI and HUD will now work, so that's cool. Mining gadget, uh, sorry, mining vehicles, Grey Cat Rock, just the rock. Mining laser does uh, now does deploy when entering mining mode, which is cool. Fixed uh, the mission content uh, underground facility bunker 
UFG mission NPC kills are not always recorded, so that has been fixed. The FPS mining gain code multi tool mining laser energy too high, that's been fixed. The crusher rehabilitation facility shopping kiosks, there's no use prompt when entering in through mode, in a thought mode, and at the kiosk, that's been fixed. Multi ship vehicle components design ASOP terminals stay, uh, so the ASOP terminals start that filing a claim on a ship will spawn a factory set up ship but will actually spawn the ship with any custom changes okay so that's a bug and that was fixed although that was a good bug uh, multiple uh, UI and VMA when viewing the Drake Corsair via the VMA at certain angles of the preview it will cause it to vanish that has been fixed the 890 jump ship feature uh, there is a numerous panels and doors throughout the 89 that uh, that exhibit v pre vis area issues that's been fixed Argo mole variants uh, the Argo mole mining turret missing HUD and MFDs it's been fixed inventory cannot split stacked items into smaller stacks that's been fixed the Drake Cutlass series uh so the torrent interiors on the cutlass series have a viz area and appear invisible when crewed by players it's been fixed and the player suffocates with a helmet on as the helmet equipped appears to be stuck in pending that has been fixed they have also fixed volatile cargo the ship retaining volatile cargo alarm and damage on countdown from the volatile cargo removed by the refinery. So there is eight client fixes and eight server fixes. And about 14 bug fixes. But there is still quite a big... There's a few blockers in here, I would say. So... Trading invisible on multiple ships is not really one. It's inconvenient, but it's not really. Use a spawn in prison with weapons and armor after dying. That's probably a major blocker. Because that breaks gameplay. When flying near another ship, seems to hit an invisible box that kicks into random directions. That also seems like a major blocker. C2 landed at area 18 results in slow frame rate is probably a blocker. So like I say, there's probably a few of them in here actually, which is probably why, like I said, with the, the inside star citizen we had this morning, it really didn't seem like it was going to be coming out anytime soon. So early next week at the earliest, I would say probably might till it's late next week. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I will see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself, and we'll see you in the verse.